Hello everyone, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector, your Dark Knight of Collecting, and today I'm going to be unboxing a dream piece for me. That of course is the Arkham Knight Joker from Prime One Studio, that's up next. Alright guys, welcome back, and before we get started, I want to address a couple of things. Number one, I apologize for my voice. It sounds like crap right now because I've been in Florida for a week uh, with my family on vacation, and as I'm coming back, I started feeling bad. I know I'm getting sick, but that wasn't going to stop me from unboxing this because this was delivered a week ago. I've been uh, in Florida. I haven't been able to unbox it, and it was killing me, so I'm here now, and here's the box, so we're going to do it whether I'm sick or not. Now, I am going to do an unboxing, and then I'm going to do a separate review video. Hopefully, I'll feel better in the next day or so, and I'll be able to film a better review for you guys, okay? Number two, I want to apologize for the uh, the video quality. Um, when I was in Florida, my camera, it broke. Um, and, you know, it's like an eight or $900 camera. I'm going to have to replace that. It's going to take me a little bit of time to do that. Uh, so I am using my phone, uh, the Galaxy S9, to film this. So it's a little dip in quality. So I do um, apologize for that. Uh, but I will try to get back to where I was before as soon as possible. But I'm so mad my camera broke. But anyway, so let's go ahead and do the unboxing here, okay? So number one, Prime One sent this. This was a first for me. It's kind of a promotional material. Shows a lot of the statues in this line that you can buy. Of course, I'm pretty much buying all of them. Not quite all of them, but uh, of course, I have a couple still on the way. So I'm really excited about this. Now, this is the normal paper they use for the instructions. But this instruction is a much higher quality. It's almost like a laminated, uh, heavy cardstock. Really nice, um, really detailed, nice glossy print. Um, they've really just upped their game with the, the instructions, so that was really nice right there. I thought that was really cool. Um, then I also received this. Now, I don't know. Uh, this is a Batarang uh, from the Arkham Knight line, and I don't know if they send this to everyone, um, or this is my very first Prime One order. Uh, I've never ordered from them before, but there was a reason why I did, and I'll get to that in just a second. But I thought maybe because I was a first-time buyer, they maybe sent this to me. But I thought that was really cool of Prime One. So Prime One, if you're watching, thank you very much for the extra gift. That was awesome. Okay, let's get into the box. <clears throat> all right, so this looks very similar to all the other boxes. This box was big. This box is heavy as can be. Uh, I have a feeling it's probably going to be the base. Um, but it's just a very big box. Uh, really nice box art on the front. And if you look there on the corner, you're going to notice the very special sticker that, of course, is Scarface. And that is why I ordered directly from Prime One. Now, you can get the exclusive from anywhere, and that is the uh, head sculpt with the top hat. But the only way you can get Scarface is if you order directly from Prime One and their store. And that's what I did because I really wanted Scarface. And I'm really happy I did. So that sticker is real, really cool. Now, another really cool thing on the side of the box here. First time I've seen Prime 1 do this. They may have done it on some other boxes, but this is the first time I've seen it. Where they actually list the uh, sculptors and artists. Uh, we have Stefferson Roca, of course, digital sculptor. We also have Bruno Zorzi, and that's lead technical artist. We also have, of course, uh, Bernardo uh, Cruziero, a good friend of the channel, and of course, Johnny Pham, creative director. Um, really excited just to have those on the side uh, because I really appreciate the sculptors behind the work. I always love to see who's doing these works. So, really cool. On the back, again, standard fare. Logo on the side, and of course, logo on the top, right there. And this one happens to be number 49 of 500 exclusive. Again, I'm really happy with that number, uh, but I don't really care. I'm just really happy that he's here. I, this is a dream come true statue for me. Let's go ahead and get him out of this, and let's open up the styrofoam. All right, so I already have the uh, styrofoam cut. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get. All right, first thing I notice is, of course, uh, whoop, got one stuck there. Uh, of course, this is the black cloth. Um, so I love when Prime One does that. Uh, it looks like here we're going to have the, the base itself. Man, that thing is massive, massive base. Really cool. All right, we've got Scarface there. And we've got Joe, one of the Joker's head sculpts, other Joker head sculpts. We've got the gun and the uh, pointing to the temple fingers there. Uh, we have part of the spire, it looks like. 
There's the rest of Scarface. And we have, oh, it looks like maybe this is the spats. Yes, spats. Or the tails, I guess the coattails. Um, and one of the arms. And the actual, wow, the actual body itself. And looks like that's the exclusive head sculpt in there. Here we have, what's this? What is this? Oh, one of the other arms. Looks like another arm is right there. And I think that might be everything. Let me just kind of give you an overview of the actual box itself. And uh, let's go ahead and get this guy set up. I cannot wait. Right, so we're ready to get this thing set up. And the first thing is going to be the base. Man, that thing is heavy. Wow. Oh, gee, many Christmas. This thing is heavy and big. Gosh, it is. I mean, it's not Killer Croc base, but... I feel like this is like one of the other bigger statues, uh, bases I've ever seen from Prime 1. It's heavy as can be. It's all one piece, which I'm surprised. I kind of thought the head, uh, the body over here would be maybe separate. But looking it over, it all looks good. Really impressed there with that. Uh, I guess next would be the body. Kind of look the body over. The first thing I notice is the, there's a real chain on it. If that's not sculpted, um, has the the really cool aged um, I don't know what you call it the stuffing I guess from his coat coming off looks really cool. Everything really looks good there. I like the colors. Let's see how does this guy go in. I'm guessing something just about like that. See if I can get him in in one one try here. Probably not. All right, that is now in and secure. Looks really good there. Uh, let's see. We probably want to get. Oh, here is the the coattails. Um, it looks like it has more of that faux um, stuffing stuff, and it also is a key. And that, oh, there's even a magnet in there too. So that fits in just perfectly. Looks really good. Uh, let's see. What should we do next? All right, this is the part of the spire. Uh, there's kind of a notch in it. So there's probably a certain way it goes. Oh, just like that. <clears throat> nice strong magnet there. All right. Uh, this is the hand here that I'm probably going to use where he's pointing at his temple. Uh, some people have said it kind of looks like it's more like his cheek. Uh, to kind of wait and see, I'll have to play with mine a little bit. The other spire, which is the building, has his hand. So I'm not sure if this is the right one. Oh, that's his other hand. So we need to find his other, or his other arm, part, rather, pardon me. We need to find that one. Wherever, oh, there it is. Okay, so this hand, our arm is gonna go like this, and then the spire is going to attach a nice strong magnet. Yeah, just like that, perfect. So this this hand, there's not any other poses, but this one, you have three poses, so that's really cool. And let's see, are we ready for the head sculpts already? I think we are. Uh, first one I'm gonna take out here is, oh. So this is the infected Joker, and I've never seen really the good pictures of this one because there's like shiny boils on his head. Like it's really creepy. Wow, that is a good head sculpt. Let me just kind of put that on there, kind of show you what that looks like there. Man, I think I'm going to be in love with the statue, guys. It is, oh, it's cool. Okay, so that's that head. Let me show you the exclusive head next. That's here. Now this is going to be the exclusive for everybody. Everybody gets this one if you order the exclusive. Oh my gosh, this head is way better than I thought it would be. Wow, that is really cool. That is the top hat. I believe that's from the Batgirl mission. Looks really cool. Wow, I like that way better than I thought. That's really cool looking. Okay, and then let's see how this looks. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is a crazy head sculpt. You're going to see it up close 
when I do my review, oh my gosh, gosh, you can actually, there's like blue veins in it, oh, that is phenomenal, take this off, and stick this in here like that, wow, that, oh my gosh, I'm just oh, speechless here, it's just so cool, um, I'll show you the switch outs when I do the review, um, but I do want to show you um, the Scarface, so here he is here. Now, I've been told that there is a magnet. There it is. A little bit of wobble there, but the magnet's in there. Um, and I've, I've, I've heard that there's not any magnet in, in this figure itself. So trying to find a place where he can sit and not worry about falling off, uh, I'm going to have to figure that out. But that gives you kind of an idea of what Scarface looks like. I'm really happy. I am really happy with him. I'm really glad I spent the extra couple hundred dollars on him, especially if Prime One doesn't do any more villains or any more of this Arkham line. Uh, this is still another villain from the game and from the comics that I uh, can say, hey, I've got the ventriloquist. Um, and just really cool. It's really cool. I'm really happy with Scarface. Okay, <clears throat> so that's that for right now. Uh, I'm going to rest up, I'm going to get my uh, thoughts together here, and uh, I will give you an awesome full review in the next few days. Um, just looking at him initially, I am blown away. Um, I can't wait to look at him a little bit more off camera, and then I will be uh, here to give you, again, that full review. Uh, but I did want to just hurry up, get this unboxed, because I was excited, and uh, clearly it was definitely worth the wait. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And again, tune in in a couple days for the full review. As always, thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the Batcave. Couldn't leave you hanging, guys. Got to show you a close-up of this guy. Look, Just look at that. That is so cool. Man, I, I am just so happy with this statue. I, I love the Joker. He's my favorite character. Um... Man, this review is going to be awesome, guys. So make sure, again, you come back in a couple days and uh, check this guy out with all of his different poses and his different looks. But uh, I can tell you right now, Prime 1 hit this one out of the park.